right, welcome back to another episode of Beer Begging and Rose Always. I'm Alex. Got Adam, Chris, Keith. Uh, we are going to jump into this beer review. Before we do that, though, if you don't mind, we can uh, highly ask you politely, politically correctly, whatever we're begging to go like, <laughs> comment, subscribe. Uh, just interact subscribe. with the channel. Hit the share button. Hit the dislike button for all we care. Just do something. Interact. Throw some comments our way. We'll 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 hit you back. Slide in the DMs, baby. We thought the DMs are always open over here at the Beer Bacon and Bros podcast. Okay, um, but it helps us grow. We're just trying to just have fun on the internet, so help us out. But let's get into this beer. This one is the Sugar Plum Fairy. It is from the Alphabet, uh, Alphabet City Brewing Company out of Elmsford, New York. This is a dark ale brewed with real plum puree. We're gonna be pooping and <laughs> Belgian candy syrup. Oh God. Belgian candy syrup with the candy spelled with an I instead of a Y at the end. Very curious to what that is. Um, I want this to be like... This also being a dark ale, but there's a lot of sweet to this that they're adding here. So this is going to be interesting. I always want this to be like... This is either going to be really good or sugar be really probably bad. I want this to be like almost purple though. Like, <laughs> be like purple. a deep purple. 8%. You, you. Yeah. It says, take a walk on the Alphabet City side. Two dollar no, Tuesdays. No. Elmsford, New York. They've got some uh, great clam chowder up there. Do you know this from experience? No, no, no I just made that up. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> oh, disappointing. I can smell it already. <laughs> it's a good smell or a bad smell. Interesting. It's it smells like a dark ale kind of stout. <coughs> this was uh. This was the beer of the month on, um, for who? I gotta look at the website. Some fan base, some one guy fan base. Yes. One boat, one boat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, microbrew, micro beer of the month.com. Oh, for the microbrew beer of the month. Beer of the month.com. Yeah, yeah this, this is some guy that put on the tasting notes. It's weird. It's got a very bitter, tart, something aftertaste. I wish. I think it's oh, the plum God. kicking Ooh, through. Interesting. What's this really limited great? release beer from Alphabet City is inspired by Belgian dark ales, which are often brewed with Belgian candy syrup. Not to sweeten the beer, but to raise the alcohol content as it is <laughs> consumed and transformed by the yeast. Additionally, the brewers have incorporated real plum puree in order to complement the darker fruit esters associated with these dark Belgian ales. On the pour, <laughs> this brew presents a brown hue with distinct reddish flashes. Cap by a head of tan foam that drops to persistent collar. I wish it was flat. On the nose, yeah. look for a prominent impression of dark malts delivering plenty of caramelization, mild toastiness, hints of plum, and hints of yeasty phenols. Phenol, I don't know if I'm saying that word correctly. Feces is what you were looking for. Okay. Um, no, I was not, but Chris is saying things like feces. <laughs> Flavor wise, we picked up plenty of dark fruits like. from the obvious plum to additional fig or raisin like impressions, along with touches of spicy yeast. Deep down caramels, hints of molasses and brown sugar, and a dash of cocoa. Hot no, bitterness comes through as moderate with a bit of spice and a hint of citric acidity. What the fuck were these guys drinking? Yeah, they're no taste. It ain't this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I definitely get like the, the fig. For pairing options, plum. we'd steer towards barbecued meat. No. no. <laughs> Especially when, a comp- when it accompanied by a fruit infused sauce. Okay, yeah, there are some fruit infused barbecue sauces, but no. But this yeah. is what this would happen. As well as creme brulee with poached plum. No. This is what happens when you give somebody. Beerthemonthclub.com has lost all their credibility. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what happens when some dude from New York said, We should barbecue. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not bad, though. It's, it's got a funky taste. It's got a really funky taste. Is it? It's you not like, just think it's just the plum? It's 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 either the plum or the fig. It's like a plum. I taste cocoa. Like you were saying, you don't taste. Cocoa. I get no demon chocolate out of this. I get cocoa. It's almost like cocoa powder plus plum to me, and that's why I'm just completely well. It's really qualified. coca coke. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's the cacao. actual like, cacao. Yeah, cacao nibs. But yeah, it's the See, real I'm bitter. Not, I'm not getting chocolate. that. I'm getting like like sweet candy plum. Actually, I'm more drinking this. That. Actually. Not half bad. That's what I'm saying. This is. I'm not mad at this. I don't know if I would seek it out, but I'm not. I don't, but I don't. I don't know if it's because my taste buds are just dead now, and I get. From I the, think it's kind of weird, just 
plum taste to me that I don't like. Yeah. I, I, this is closer to cough syrup to me than it is delicious beer. Mm. Man. That's, that's brutal. That's rough. I'm that's I, I, brutal. Anybody, if anybody wants any more, you can have mine. I'm good. Uh, I'm going to go 6 8 with it. Chris can go 4 2. 4 3? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's exactly where I was sitting on. I mean, I you, think, no, I think 6 8 right. I think this isn't. If somebody handed this to you, you would drink it. I would drink it. I would drink it again. I don't know. Mm, can I split it with somebody? Like, if they handed me a whole pint, I don't know if I'll drink, but get, if, I, if I could pour myself <laughs> half a glass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man, for oh, yeah. half a beer on the ground. Yeah, man, I, that was, yeah. I was Adam, gonna, Adam, Adam, Adam walk to the bathroom. I'll be right Adam's, back. Adam's going to play the fun game of don't drink it too fast so your friend thinks you enjoyed it and give you another one. Yeah. 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 No, you got to pour one out for the homies. <laughs> <laughs> they say you know it's half a can gone. So a, lot of, a lot of homies. Still a lot of homies. Still a lot of homies back home. Uh, I'm going to be like a six, six on that. Like it, it's got a weird, it, it's got a weird like funky taste. But the more you drink it, it that funky taste kind of goes away. Like I said, I'm not mad at this by no means. And I think, I think you get the plum there, and I think you get the kind of bitterness as it, as it is. Cause no, it I mean, is there's a definitely a bitterness to it. But I think you know that is more because it is a stout. But I think that candy. Plum flavor really cuts it down. That candy lot. syrup that they put in it? Well, apparently that's just for raising alcohol content. Yeah, <laughs> apparently. Apparently. Real so. plum puree. Yeah, I, I mean, it's it's not it's it's not. I mean, it's I'm di- not gonna, it was definitely it's different. different. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shy away from it, but I don't think I would. I don't think I'd go three hours out of my way to get it. Well, I hope you would not. Uh, yeah. If you would go three hours out of the way for it, I hope that'd be a nine. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna go 30 minutes out of my way to find it. How about that? Yeah, I'm not stopping on my way home. Correct. So. Correct. So. All right, back down the line. Six five. Four three. Uh, six eight. Six eight. That was the sugar plum fairy from <laughs> Alphabet City. Alphabet City in what part of New York? Elmsford. It's where the elms drive Fords. Yeah, New York. Fair. That has a great clam chowder apparently. No. And that's a review.